hang on to you for a second. I think you are very good at this. I think you've got a natural affinity for this. And, um, which is essentially, it's empathy. It's having people with high levels of empathy are very good at this, which is a nice thing. Also ties in with bravery, being brave. Um, yeah, we'll do it tonight. We'll do it tonight with Matt. Um, get a couple of chairs, please, and the table. And the stuff as well. <laughs> Excellent. Sit yourself down, Matt. You'll enjoy this. I don't get to do this very often. Um, good. Yes, OK. I will... We need to... Oh, I need this. I need to give you this. Thank you. Also rather handy. We're filming this tonight. So, could you put that on your right hand for me? Um, thank you very much. Let's just get this up on the screen. Thank you. All right. So put your right hand on your lap. Put the left hand flat on the table. I'm just going to remove your watch, if that's OK. Uh, I just need to check something quickly first. I need to check that you don't feel anything if I do this. Can't feel that, can you? No. Nope. nope, good. All right, no reason why you should, of course. This is a dead bit of wood. It feels nothing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an inanimate bit of wood. No sensations in there at all. It's dead. I want you to look at this hand here, and one last time now, just let him take full control of that hand. That's good. You'll feel those movements, but it can remain on the table as he just takes full control. And as you watch the back of that hand now, he's going to make the back of the hand completely numb as you watch all the sensations will just drain out and down and into the table and away. As you watch the back of the hand, he is going to bring your fingers in together, your fingers and thumb in together at the same rate and speed that the back of the hand becomes completely numb. Those final sensations draining out and down and into the table as he brings your fingers in together. That's good. Excellent. Lovely. Now bring up your other hand. Point the finger of this hand and just touch yourself on the arm, first of all. Now you can feel that, can't you? Yep. yep, quite normally. It's a very thin glove, so you can feel that. Now touch the back of that hand. What's that like? <laughs> I can't feel anything. You can't, can you? It's completely dead. Will you just show them? Just pinch a great big bit of skin and twist it round. Just twist it right, yank it right round, that's good. Just do that again, just show, just show them. You can't, you can't feel it, can you? Twist it right round. You could bash it, you could pinch it, you could twist it, you could stick a needle through it. You really wouldn't feel a thing, would you? No. And would you be prepared to do this for us? You are very good at this. I want to show you something that you will remember for the rest of your life. If I promise you that you won't feel a thing and we'll do it completely safely, would you be happy to push a sterilised needle just through the skin and the back of the hand? Yeah? Okay. Excellent. Good. Thank you, Matt. All right. So a couple of health and safety points I have to adhere to as well. So let me just uh, put one of these on here. Is it weird? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then this here is a sterilised needle. Fantastic. All right. Yes. It's like I'm unsealing that. If you take hold of that, it is a bit of a bendy one. So as you do it, I will steady it for you, but I'll let you do the push. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Yes, of course you are. Um, <laughs> so look, but I'll steady it just because it's a bit bendy. Listen, I am just going to pinch the skin. Now, this is like you're watching me pinch the skin on someone else's hand. The whole thing is like this is happening to somebody else. So let me just do that. Weird. weird, isn't it? So look, just press the end of the needle first of all. Just come in the middle and just press it there. You're quite happy? Doesn't hurt, does it? No. All right, so look, I'll steady it. You just go right the way through. You can see it right, coming right out the other side. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> so let go there for me. What goes through your head as you look at that? What's that like? What is this like? It, I just can't feel anything. <laughs> Is it like looking at someone else's hand? I can't take it off the table or anything. It's just there. <laughs> and in a sense, of course, it is someone else's hand at the moment. This is also interesting. Look, if I pinch it again, if you slowly pull that out, you'll see it doesn't bleed. Just slowly, because a wooden hand does not bleed. See? No blood on the needle. No blood on the skin. Let me just take this back from you. I need to seal it back up for tomorrow's show. So <laughs> All right, give me a hand there. I'm going to take this off there. Now, listen. He now begins to relinquish all control. He lets go of you now completely. You will now start to feel ordinary, comfortable sensations right from up here, starting to come down through the arm and along and into the hand. Now, just give that a moment. You'll start to get a bit of movement, ordinary, comfortable sensations. Excellent. Just come around the front for me. Now, there's your watch. Just hold that for a second. Now, look, you might find after a couple of minutes, sorry, that you do get like a little, um, like a little tingling sensation or a vague sense that something went on there. But I promise you, nothing uncomfortable. Are you quite happy with the fact you did that? Yep. And it didn't hurt at all? No, not one bit. Matt, thank you so much. You were fantastic. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, Matt, everybody. I'll let you head back. Thank you, Matt. And, of course, thank you, Svengali, ladies and gentlemen, Svengali.